Okay. Thank you, Craig. Uh, obviously, we're getting ready to play a, a very talented, uh, long, athletic, and confident Georgia ball club here tomorrow night. Um, they've had a heck of a run. Uh, I think they are – uh, we got they got started here at our place early in the year, and we know what kind of challenge it's going to be for us to go down there and get a win. Our first question is from Steve Wallentick of the Columbia Tribune. And Frank, you, hey Steve, how you doing? Good. Um, you've you've been asked a couple times in the last couple of weeks about paying attention to bracket projections and things like that, and have been adamant that you try to stay away from that. Your players. Jabari and Jordan admitted after the game that that talk obviously does enter the the locker room. How do you how do you make sure that it doesn't become a distraction in the home stretch? Well, um, obviously, I think it's hard for the you know those guys watching games and not see what people say about them. And you know, we just got to continue to preach what we do and stay in the moment and attack each game. And we want to play as hard as we can play each time out. And that, and that's the first and foremost is. Going out there and competing and giving everything we got on that on that basketball court and and uh, that's what we got to focus on and I think that's as a coaching staff that's what we got to continue to encourage with our players. And where has Georgia gotten better over the course of uh, since, since you saw them the last time? Well, you know they, they, their numbers are still what they're what they've done uh, when we were playing them and they, they they're still the same and that's who they are. They're a really good rebounding team on both ends of the court. Um, they, they they get to the free throw line 30 times a game, um, you know, and they they they, they have their length that they, they they bother you on the defense end. They're the number one field goal percentage defensive team in our league. So uh, it's because of their length and you know how well how well they have played defensively. And uh, the one thing I think they have done uh, a little bit better, obviously, is that Gaines has become he's made 13 threes in their last couple of the ball games. So he's become a, a shooter for them uh, on the perimeter. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Next up is Todd Lebo of Sports Radio 810. Hey, Coach. Uh, Alabama was shooting 44% on the year and then shot 57% against you guys on Saturday. Can you talk about uh, what, went wrong, what went wrong defensively and how you guys can work on that? Well, we didn't do a good job defensively. We were, we were really, really poor defensively in the ball game, and uh, uh, they had they had way too many open looks. And uh, But with that said, the kid Randolph had a career game too, and uh, um, but our, our 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 perimeter defense and low post defense and our total defense of the effort was not good, and uh, we've got to get better. You know, the, all day yesterday that's what we practice on, and hopefully we'll have a better effort on that on that end of the court here uh, on Tuesday. That was really disappointing how we defended in that ball game, and uh, you can't win on a road, particularly if you don't play defense. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Next is Bob Holt of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hey, hey, Coach, how you doing today? I'm good, Bob. How are you? I'm good. Hey, you guys are part of this uh, seven-way tie for fourth in the SEC. Just wondering what what your thoughts are on that. <laughs> well, somebody's got to win some games here in the next two weeks to separate yourself. Uh, you know, there's, there's two weeks left to go in the season, regular season, and uh, also it, it tells you it tells you about the parity in, in our league and. How hard it is to win on the road. I think that's that's been pretty typical throughout uh, the whole. Everybody you know, has had trouble winning on the road, other than you know Kentucky and Florida. So uh, um, it's pretty evident. You looking at a lot of teams being seven and seven right now. So, uh, but somebody's got a you know got a chance here to at the last two weeks to you know to probably get some separation and you know and, and hopefully somebody's going to be in that third or well, excuse me that fourth spot. And right now, there's a bunch of people fighting for it. Have you ever seen anything like that in, in any league? Uh, not to my recollection, recollection uh, here, uh, but um, I mean we've got a lot of parity, and I think it, I think it's, it is true, and that you know teams in our league has really struggled winning on the road, and, uh, and that has caused for you know the kind of all the the, the 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 numbers being the same there in the middle of the pack. Next up is Mark Weiser of the Athens Banner Herald. There. Okay, we'll move ahead with Dave Matter of uh, St. Louis Post Dispatch. With the effort, the, the guys were still fighting. 
How, how much of that was, was missing at Alabama, and, and if so, is that, a, is that pretty disappointing to you? I didn't, I didn't hear the first part of your question. Sorry. In, in most of your losses this year, you know, you got, your guys were still fighting. You seemed pretty happy with mm-hmm. the effort in games like LSU and, and Florida. Was that, was that missing at Alabama the other night? Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Uh, you know, it was disappointing. We didn't have the, uh, the 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 competitive spirit you needed to have, and that was. We practiced well, and we were prepared, and 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 it was really just we didn't we didn't compete on the defensive end, and that was that was a little, that was really disappointing. Is Mark Weiser of the Athens Banner Herald? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'll try this again. Uh, you mentioned Kenny Gaines. Uh, you know, what have you noticed uh, of him in terms of how his game may have developed since you saw him start uh, of SEC play, and what difference do you think he's meant for Georgia? Well, he's given him a, a perimeter threat along with Jurisic, and, and I think he's he's playing with a lot more confidence uh, than early in the year. And obviously, he's on a roll right now. We got to do a great job on him and finding him and making sure. Uh, you know, after coming off 27 points in his last outing, he's He's, a, he's in a really good place right now, looking real comfortable out there on the basketball court. So uh, we got to do a tremendous job on him, and, and as I said, do a, do, a, do our work early and, and make sure he's got uh, he's got constant attention on the defensive end. Uh, 